Chatbots are predicted to drive 85% of the customer service interaction by 2020, and that's according to Gartner. Hi everyone, and welcome to the Intelligent World Q&A. Amazon asked me some questions about chatbots and the customer experience. So let's get started. So typically, if you have an area of your company that deals with a lot of customer inquiries or customer service solutions, then you probably could benefit from a chatbot. You can deploy it as some kind of concierge or as a customer assistant or answer common question or guide sales processes. Even B2B can find value in chatbots for lead generation, for example. And there's also been a lot of use cases in industries like the entertainment industry or the telecom or the financial services. You have to start by pinpointing high value areas for customer care and go from there. So ask yourself if you have a business problem and that can be solved with a chatbot and define a use case for it. So then the chances are that you will find that chatbots can streamline and improve some key business lines and processes. So if the chatbot strategy isn't implemented correctly, then there's really a potential cause for frustration. And there's different levels of chatbot sophistication. You can think about the simple chatbots, and those that are capable of providing various basic user options and the intelligent ones, the AI-driven chatbots that can understand customer context and help guide them through the right actions. So it's important to design them with the user experience in mind. So you can avoid issues like misunderstanding customer context or delivering inappropriate or unhelpful responses that waste users' time. So when chatbots are strategically developed with sophisticated AI, they can be extremely valuable customer experience solution that prevents frustration, not cause them. So chatbots can mimic the natural way of people talk and making interactions meaningful, making them efficient and making them helpful. So chatbots give customers an immediate digital connection with a company to help them stay updated with information and services they need on their time, where they happen to be, and using whatever platform they want. So a lot of chatbots out there that don't work properly. They aren't trained with enough or the right type of data. And they aren't doing anything to make the user interaction more beneficial. So instead, it can end up in wasting customers' time and prompting them for responses to attempt them to understand context, only to transfer them to the human agent, which is useless. So you need to develop the chatbot with the customer journey and the business outcome in mind for it to become successful. So make sure being transparent about your chatbot so customers know they are interacting with a chatbot and not with a real person but ensure it's able to simulate natural human conversation it needs to be able to understand why customers are interacting with it so that it can be really useful and make sure that you're addressing common areas of customer frustration too which is i think a very important part you also need to use the customer data with compliance and apply it towards creating new solutions and create all kinds of new innovations with it. So providing 24 seven customer support with chatbots means your employees can spend their time on more value driven tasks and increasing their efficiency as well. Also, chatbots can really reduce the human mistakes element from the customer services, and that means more savings and spend less time towards correcting all the errors. And chatbots can interact with customers at scale, and it's meaning more sales in the end and more lead generation and a continued opportunity to provide excellent services that keep your customers happy and coming back for more. So... If you also look to, it can analyze the customer data 
and this behavior and this can help you to personalize your your offers to personalize your services and to recommend products that your customers truly need and truly want so this helps reduce customer churn which is i think very important because it costs less to keep existing customers than it does to try to acquire new ones so if you're not managing compliance and data security and development challenges surrounding the user design and the experience, then you might end up in dealing with costly mistakes, which is truly a pity if you start working with chatbots because the experience and the potential is really great. So thank you for watching and thank you Amazon for providing these questions for our Q&A. I'm Ronald Van Loon and this it's the intelligent world.